makuri mwiza God we thank you for you are good Oduye kuvugana nabana bawe Give us to speak with your children Oduhubwenge bwawe Give us your wisdom Imbaraga zawe Your power Ubasha bwawe And your might Ga tugirie neza Bless us o Lord Mu izina rya Yesu In Jesus name Amen Amen Ikaze muri Ask Paul imana ibaho mugisha kandi bagirie neza Welcome in Ask Paul and God De karero nsabe eh jane adusomere ibibazo mwabajije Paul Let us ask our reader to read the question that you have asked uh Paul um I can read um Shalom Aposo I have um my name is my name is Rwema I live in Rwanda I really love you with your uh, with the whole authentic world ministries you are good leaders that this world is blessed to have apostle i am pleased to ask you this question and please give me the best answer or the best strategy of a way that i could apologize or repent to god and my prayer is sincerely listened to by god and also please pray for me that god will forgive all my past and i will believe in your prayer mm -hmm. shalom shalom aposo hamwe na team nitwa gwema mperere mu rwanda nukuri ndabakunda cyane hamwe na authentic world ministries muri abayobozi beza banogeye iyisi imana yatoranije aposo ndagira ngo nkwinginge ngusaba ni yihe nubuhe buryo bwiza umuntu yasabamo imbabazi cyangwa se yakwegera imana kandi akaba yanasenga akumvigwa amasengesho ye uh, nukuri ungire inama kandi ndabanemezanyije nawe okay uh, sinzi 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 cyane cyashatse kuvuga apologizing to god gusaba imana imbabazi ni ibyaha yakoza ashaka gusaba imana imbabazi afite guilt kiripabilite muri we ese ko wakoze icyaho kumva byaranze kuba barirwa aha sinzi uko nagusubiza ariko ndagerageza kwimagina scenario yawe I'm trying to understand your question is it because you have a sin against God or you have done something wrong or you don't feel that you have been forgiven so I'm trying to answer your question so I will imagine the scenario or the situation that you're in Eh ndatekereza ko eh iyo wakoshe imana iyo wakoze icyaha I know that when you sin against God iyo wakoze icyaha when you sin when you commit a sin hari uburyo hari uburyo butatu there are three ways umuntu abihana a person repents ubwa mbere iyo wakoze icyaha mu ruhame when you sin publicly usaba imbabazi mu ruhame you repent in public imana irakubabarira and god forgives you cyakabiri iyo wakoze icyaha mu ibanga number two, when you commit your sin secretly usaba imana imbabazi you repent Imani kakum. And the God forgives you. Arikiye umvishe muri wowe. But when you feel that in you, uwonge kandi kugisubiramo. That you have repeated that same sin. Ushakuwa gatatu. You will go to a third person. Ari we mukozi w'Imana. Who is the servant of God? Ukamwaturira. And you will confess your sins. Akagufasha. And the servant of God will help you. Akagusengera. Will pray for you. Kuko iyo akubabariye. Because when he forgives you, you are forgiven. Because God has given him power to forgive those who have committed sins. And it, it, uh, they have given that authority and it happens. Iyo satana agaruye kandi cyo cyaha mu mutima ngo dore ibi wakoze nibi nibi uramubwira tono narihanye ibyo biragenda kandi cyo gihe imana ibikunva So when Satan brings the sin or reminds you of your past uh, you have to say no I have been forgiven and God listens to you Ubwira satana So you speak to Satan that you have been forgiven and you believe that you truly have been forgiven Because when you believe it Iyo wabzize. When you believe Ibabzo. it happens. Dero wanga chaki dikukira urubanza gikomeza gikuzaho ngo ntiwa barindi wabariwe. So you rebuke that thing that condemns you that you have not been forgiven. 
Amen. Amen. So our sins are forgiven when we have repented. Mostly like servants of God. When you approach them and repent your sins, they forgive you, they pray for you, and you are forgiven. Because they have been given that power and authority. It comes from God. And you need to believe it. Kani nu senga wizere kuimana yumvanti satari nta kuweke kuimana ni kurea we cha nengo na we ubzeme rushiri umuti mawa. And when you pray and when you repent, believe that God hears your prayer. Don't let uh, Satan to remind you that and shows you that God is far away from you. Yeah, wizere kwa wabari we. Muri muri Johanna. In the book of John. Igicha chama kumia bili. Chapter twenty. Kumurongo makumia bili naga tatu. Twenty-three. Bibili iravuga ngo abo muzababarira ibyaha bose bazaba babibabariwe abo mutazabibabarira bose bazaba batabibabariwe urumva ko dufite izo mbaraga iyo umuntu agusenga akavuga ngo ndakubabariye ni imana ikubabarire urababarirwa The Bible says if you forgive the sins of any they are forgiven them if you retain the sins of any they are retained that means the power has been given to the pastors when they forgive you you are forgiven kandi ntiwongere kutekeza kubzakera byashizeho warababari and you should not tear it to uh, thinking about your past you have been forgiven and it is over cha kabiri pastor jacques ah lusofa changa se rusoferi nibe ariko namwita na satani baratandukanye ko bigaragara ko kuri gugo ko badatandukanye This question says, what's the difference between Lucifer and Satan? Because when you Google, it says that they are two completely different. So this is one individual with two different characters. Lucifer is one of the two. Lucifer was created by God. And Lucifer is a son of light. That's the meaning of Ahano it. This is an angel who is sinless, who has a light, who shines brighter. He's an angel like other angels. I will compare him to a baby with a sinless. When did he become certain? When he fall. When he became a sinner or when he fall. He became a father of deceiver. And this is Satan. Satan What is the meaning of Satan? Season. It's not a name. Ahubwo ni karaktere no kwateye nubugome. It is his character, his nature, his wickedness. Diablo, cyangwa se diable. He's a, a diablos. Eh, Satan means he's a wicked. Umugome rero ni kubera ibikorwa bye yakira iryo zina ry'ubugome ariko ubundi eh sizi nahubwo ni ibikorwa akora. So Satan is not a name it's his work or his function the works that he does um, it's it, it, that's the the meaning of Satan. Lucifer. Lucifer another. Lucifer ni satan utaragwa at satan before he he fall satan satan ni luciferi waguye is a lucifer who fall no muntu it's one person shalom uh, aposo nitwa keita ntarabana numugabo nari nkijijwe pe ndetse nahimba ni ndirimbo z'Imana ndasohora zimwe ariko mu nyuma uh, tubanye yaje kumbuza ngo uh, ndasengere dusengere muri catholic ngo tuje hamwe ngo nta gukomeza uh, mu bakizwe indirimbo zose nanditse zibitse mu ikaye muri je ndumva ko nataye inzira ariko nk'umwana w'umuntu ndabura ico nkora mumfashe ico nakora ndetse nikibereye ntako ntagize ngo nze ndaja iwabo wenda nanje yandeka ariko nja iwacu yemera mm, ya yeah. ariko ariko 
nk'umwana w'umuntu na buri cokora mu mfashe ico nakora ndetse nikibereye ntako ntagize ngonze ndaja iwabo wenda nanje yandeka ariko hako nja iwacu yemera ko dusiba twese ndumva ko ndi kure y'Imana nkoriki Shalom my name is Akitha before I got married I was born again Christian and at some point I composed song and I released some of them but I got when I got married my husband stopped me from going to church he wanted us to go to his church he is a Catholic I don't know what to do because I feel lost please tell me what should I do what is right to do in this case Kita uh, Kitha, this is not an easy question. You have chosen a husband. It seems like your husband was not born again Christian. Possibly you knew this. So it looks like you decided to get married to unsaved men so it is hard. Kubwiye ngo mureke If I tell you to leave him naba ngutesha ikibazo. I will be causing more trouble. Nene kubwiye ngo mwihorera uzugenda ku ngufu nabyo byabibazo. And same way, if I tell you to ignore him and go by force, it, all, it is also other troubles I'll be causing. But there is a way Christian manage things. Continue and pray for his heart. For that God will visit him. And he will allow you to go serve God and use your gifts and talents you've been blessed with. I too will pray for you. But the danger that is in this case, you are like that person who took his talent and buried it. Uh, 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 the person was judged and punished because they did not use the talents given by God. So you have to pray very hard that your talent your gift will be used as God has intended it niko bimeri umuntu atabajije imana yakoze bitari mu jake bw'imana haba mwizi nkodi nyine iburi mucamo bibaho so you face the consequences when you don't pray to God to guide you in your uh, decisions and choices gusimana ni nyembabaze but God is so merciful kandi ni nyembaraga and he's a very powerful dusengera umutima w'umugabo wawe so we Together need to pray for the heart of your husband. So he can completely change. If he doesn't go to pray or serve God in his different works, may he at least allow you to go and serve your God. Your question you want to do, you want to know what to do. So go ahead and pray and I will help you to pray. Ariko no kwihangana kuzageza igihe hazaboneka gupfumuka mu buzima bwa ukinjira mu masezerano ya it may take a longer journey to ha- to see the changes uh, to for you to get uh, a breakthrough and to to enter into a better life. Mm. Okay. Hello apostle and the all. Ndagira ngo nange mumfashe nkuko muri gufasha abandi. Fite kibazo cha mama wanje nananiwe kubabarira. Bitewe nuko twakuze abana adufata kabatarabe. Papa yaje gufa vuba ha ariko mama ntitwongeye kuvugana yaragiye natwe twese abana gusa uko mzibutse ndakomereka cyane nkava mu mwuka nkumva nakora ikibi kandi uh, nta nico adufasha kabana gusa mumfashe mumbwire ico nakora nukuri nkaruhuka murakoze Shalom Apostle and all the team please help me just like you help other people so my problem is this it's about forgiving my mother. We grew up with her absence. She mistreated us. 
um, as if we were not her children. My father recently died, but since then we haven't seen or talked to her. Neither of her children have heard from her. So the issue is that when I am reminded of her, I am in attempt to do bad things. Uh, Thank you for your question. Ikibazo wabyitwaramo gute ufite mama eh mutabasha kubabarira kandi mwatandukanye kandi mutagifite na papa yaramaze kwitaba imana So your question is how can you what can you do having a mother whom you don't get along with and your father has been um is been gone Uvuze ko iyo byibutse eh urakomereka cyane kubabara You mentioned that it's it's heavy when you remember or you are reminded of your mother. She doesn't help you as her children. And she mistreats you as if you are not her, hers. So let us agree to this uh, thing. Every parent. In the nature of a mother... They have mercy for their children. Even the serpent loves its children. Uh, 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 now think about a human being. So when it comes to a parent who births his children or her children doesn't love them, there are three things included. Number one, it's not that parent is a certain using him. They have captured their minds. And inserts all the wickedness into that one parent and does wicked things because they don't use their own mind to think correctly. Normally, a good mother loves her children. But a mother who doesn't love her children is possessed by demons. Is possessed by Satan. That's number one. Number two. A mother who mistreats her children and that causes separation. The second, they may have been raised in that manner. Because you give what you have. Maybe she was not loved by her mother or by her father. That means in her in life there's a rejection. So when you have been rejected, you too reject. So it's easy to reject other people because you too have experienced rejection. So what she is manifesting today it's what she has been through what has been done to her. That's number 2. Number 3. Maybe she has mental issues. But you are not aware of it. Maybe there's a depression. Maybe she is mentally ill, but when you see it, you can't tell because it is mentally. There are things going on in her mind. It's different being mentally ill and also being possessed by Satan. When you, when you are mentally ill, it, it's because of many things. Maybe the sorrow that you've been carrying. Many disappointments in your life. Maybe you failed to read or to achieve your, uh, what you have expected for. So you live Ill, you mentally ill, but people don't see it because because of what you've been through that caused that ment, uh, mentality to be sick. So the three things that I mentioned, they are source of this mother's behavior. Could be a source of this mother's behavior. But let's say you are saved. 
kuko wabivuze ngo urakijwe ngo ibitekerezo va mu mwuka urakijwe wanya Yes you say you are a born again Christian Ariko iyo bikugarutse mu mwumva uvuye mu mwuka But when that things of your mother re- is reminded to you you are out of spirits Kwa gufasha gute So and you wonder how can we help Ndagira ngo ijambo rya mbere So I want you number one. Ubanze umenye ko bibaho ku mubyeyi yataba You need to understand that it happens for a parent to leave her children Bibaho It happens Muri Yesaya 49 In the book of Isaiah chapter 40 49 on 15 Ngombese umugore yakwibagirwa umwana yonsa ntababarira uwo yibyariye ngo icyakora bo for abagore babasha kwibagirwa ngo ari kongewe sinzakwibagirwa The Bible says can a man forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb surely they may forget yet i will not forget you umva ngo ese umugore yakwibagirwa umwana yonsa cyangwa yonkeje can a woman forget her nursing child ngo ese nti yababari wo yabyaye then uh, and not have compassion for the son of her womb in another way a mother cannot forget her, her child a mother or a parent cannot uh, be angry to her child and not forget uh, to a level where there's no forgiveness but the bible says it's possible that it can happen in the three different ways that i mentioned to you possessed by certain kuba yaratawe experienced of rejection or, or mentally ill or traumatized they can do that but god says yes they can do that but i will never forget you so you need to understand the first thing that what happened to you it's possible it it happened even the bible mentions but it can happen for women to forgive But also Bible shows you one more thing. Nubwo babyeyi bisi byagera ko batibuka abana. Ngiye w'Imana nzafata releve nzajya mu cyuho sinzakwibagira. Although your biological or earthly parents may forget you, I Father God, I will I will uh take that I will stand that gap and be your father. Ngiye w'Imana sinzakwibagira. I Father I God will not forget you. Ubundi buryo nzakubera papa nzakubera mama. In another way I will be your father and your mother. Muri zaburi. In in Psalms 27. In Psalms 27. Verse 10. Bibiliya iravuga ngo ngubwo data na mama bazandeka ngo witeka zandarura. When my father and my mother forsake me then the Lord will take care of me. Ah take care of me. Ubwo data na mama bazanta bakandika ngo witeke icyo giwe azandarura azanzana andaziwe no nanyiteho when my father and my mother reject or forsake me god will take care of me will bring me home and take care of me ndagira ngo wumve iririnda ijambo najyo rivuga ko rikwereka ko imana izakwitaho kandi zitakura bavandimwe bawe nubwo mama yagutaye nubwo papa yitabye imana nubwo mumbimeze gutyo imana ndizaguta I want you to listen to this word very carefully. Although your mom forsake you, although your father is dead, but God will take care of we, will take care of you. Donc, si no. Not one day will pass by for him not uh, forget of uh, reminding or uh, remembering you. Iman is so, God will remember you. And and will not forsake you so be strengthened in his love know that above all in this world there is a parent who is invisible but his actions are visible amen amen deka hari na muri bibiliya bibiri ivuga ngo ngo hari ababyeyi bari abana ba ushobora kuba ufite mama na papa we bakakurya kukurya gusa si ukurya nk'inyama ariko imitsi bakayimara bagahora bagusaba bakubuza amahoro kandi byo bakore nti babishime ahubwo bakuhoza mu manza abo babyeyi barahaba nabo barakurya bakakumara There is also in the Bible where it talks about parents who ate their children it doesn't mean they are 
they ate their flesh or their meat, but spiritually, emotionally, they consume you. Yes, there are a type of parents who eat their children. Maybe we can question, is your mother, is, is your mother eating you or has he, she eaten you? Remember in the Bible where women ate uh, their child their child and about when they were about to eat the other child there was a judgment but, uh, done for the other child. So it's possible in the Bible shows that there's a certain time where parents they can eat their children and they have done it. So my brother here, you need to understand that we have as such mothers and fathers. Uh, I, if I remember correctly in Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 4 verse 10. Aha. Ngo abagore b'imbabazi bafasha abana bibyariye. Barabateka babivyo kurya byabo. Ngo igihe umukobwa w'ubwoko bwanje arimbutse. The hands of the compassionate women have cooked their own children. They became food for them in the destruction of the daughters of my people. Ubwo rero no kubashira gusa mu rujyo bakabateka bakabakaranga. Harabakarangwa n'uyu munsi. Nyoko Dufite data dukunda wo mwijuru. Bo bashobora guhemuka ariko imana ntizahemuka. Gusa icyo usabwa niki no kumubabarira. We have a parent not necessarily they put their children into a pot and cook them, but in some other ways they are they eat them, they take them to court and most of the times people reside on the side of the parents. But what you need to understand is that we have a father or, or a parent who does not forsake us. Gusa wewe Jumusengera umubabarire kugira ngo azakire niba rwaye azabohoke niba afite ibikomeri satana azamuve makizwe niba ari mu badaimo But she need to pray for her love her and forgive her if she is possessed that the spirit the demonic spirit would depart from her Ikindi kibazo Ndabaramutsa amahoro ya Kristo Ikibazo cyanje niki mbega umuntu arashobora kuroga umuntu agahagarika umugisha w'umuntu yaba ukijijwe canke udakijijwe I greet you in the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ my question is can someone specifically a witch stop you from receiving your blessings whether you are born again or not born again Christian eh umurozi a witch ubundi mu buryo busanzwe in the normal way tiyarugo umuntu kijijwe cannot be which a saved person or a born again ni ryari umuroza ashobora kuroga kubuzimigisha umwana wima when uh, does this which has a power to be which as, as a child of god ni gihe wa mukizwa cyangwa se wa muntu uzimana ukijijwe hari imiryango ikingutse mu buzima it's in the, in the time when that uh, the believers in her life or his life they are open doors. Bivuzik. Meaning this. Swate muri famiye yawe. Either in your family. Mugore wawe. Your wife. Mugabo wawe. Your husband. Barumuna wawe. Your brothers. Mama wawe. Your mother. Papa wawe. Your father. Umuvukana. Your siblings. Harimu murozi. There is a witch. Iyo harimu umurozi. When there is a witch in your family. Security familiare ntibikirimo haba harimo idirisha rikingo. The family security is no longer there or is no longer full because there is an open window. Ibaza umugore wa waroga. Imagine your wife is a witch. Umugabo wa waroga. Or your husband is a witch. Murabana. You live together. Musangira akabisi na gahiye. You share everything. 
ubu rero ni idirisha rikingu yari rikurwanya kugera ku migisha ya buri gihe uhora mu ntambara so that spouse of yours becomes an open window that hinders you from reaching your fully blessing kindi tugomba kumenya Another thing to let go know. A witch cannot enter house. Wo hanze atahawe adahawe ubushobozi nuwe imbere mu nzu. An outsider witch cannot enter your house without being given access by someone from inside. Niko no gucungurwa bimera. The same way with the redemption. Tawachunguraga umuntu batavukana cyangwa badafitanye amasaha. No one would redeem or save a person whom they are not related wagombaga gucungura uwo mwene wanyu wabugufi cyangwa uwo mwene wanyu wa hafi muri muvukana you could only redeem or save the person who is close to you uh, through blood ni nako nako bimera mu mwuka wa satani in the also in the also uh, the spirit the darkness the, the spirit of darkness umuvumo uzanwa n'umuntu wo muri famiye cyangwa se uzanwa n'umuntu wa hafi muri famiye a curse is brought in by a person from within the family. Eh, when you go somewhere and you meet a witch, that you did not know. Although, although they may spell uh, curses or other which they will not uh, cut you. Because you are not related Ariko to that witch. Gumuka. But spiritually, it will the witch will follow your DNA. Because they have a guide spirit. The demons will bring all your forefathers and tell them who they are. Barahu. All your brothers and sisters. And the demon will say this works for us and that works for us and they will connect those who serve Satan. And then and they will look in the uh, spiritual principles who is closer to this person. Maybe their agent is the brother or sister. If it's not within the family, they'll look at the uncles or the auntie's side. And that's how it works. There, then a witch has access and can bewitch someone who is a servant. So, so I'm going to lead you. How can you protect yourself from this? So what can you do in case in your family you have a mother, you have a father, you have a husband, you have a wife, your child, your brothers who are which? What can you do? Listen. They cannot bewitch you without having uh, certain things from you or certain words from you. Maybe the money that you give them. They can work. They can use it because it comes from you. Your wife. The way that you live together Mchumba. or in your room, Kumeza the table that you share, they are things they can get from you. So how can you be saved, protected from this so close witch? So when I'm about to give him my phone, so I'm giving it to you as a gift. But maybe he is a witch. Every time I am giving something, I must pray and bless it. And then I will say, God, I'm giving this person this. It is no longer mine. It is no longer belong to me. It is his. So it is not connected to my address. It's no longer mine. You don't say this as he's listening to you. Because 
you pray for that gift and you speak these words over that gift. So in a spiritual realm, this phone is disconnected with you. It's, they cannot trace it back to you. If it's your wife that you're about to sleep with, in your love, you should not lay down with her without praying. When you are in love, you need to pray it to God. It, so in that moment, it's no longer just a love, but it becomes a worship. When you have known that she is a witch, and you're not going to kick her away, that means anything that you're working with her, you have to pray, because this has become your burden, a cross that you're carrying. So praying and worship it's not a burden to you. It should be a lifestyle. So when you give her your clothes to wash it or take care of it, in order for this to come to an end, everything that belongs to you, before you, before you put it on, whether it's new, you need to purify it. You say, God, this is not my garment. No, wow. It is yours. This is not my shoes. No, wow. It's yours. Although they may take it and cast all the spells on it or take it to hell, it's no longer yours because you have given up to God. So I hope you understand. Understand. So I wanted to make this so clear that you understand. So when you go to her cut, your head that has fallen, your head that fallen, you need to refuse that hair. That this is not my hair. These are not my nails. If you are uh, bruised and, the, uh, and you bleed. The blood that falls off you is not no, yours. No. And there are those who spit on the on the street. Yeah, the spit you should re, uh, refuse it. That is no longer yours. Is. Even when you cry and the tears fall down, you need to refuse to Because in the spiritual realm, they follow, they go after everything that comes off you. Yes, you That's why Jesus says. That fear not. That even a piece of your hair, God knows and he counts it. So that means the same way God cares about all the small details, so Satan does. Amen. 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 May God bless you. Yesu shimwe mushumba wacu nitwa Clemi nifuza kubabaza ikibazo maranye igihe kiri muri Timothy wa mbere igice ca kabiri umurongo wa 9 Naho Paulo yasabye abadamu okubaha imana kutirimbisha kuboha imisatsi cyange izahavu None nka bakristo twakurikiza iyi verse abadamu baboha imisatsi abadamu bataboha imisatsi bakirimbisha bakirimbisha nizahavu ndifuza ko mwasobanurira nkarushaho kumenya impamvu murakoze Shalom Apostle my name is uh, Clemi um, my question is in first book of Timothy chapter 2 verse 9 where we see Paul forbids women from braiding their hair from wearing jewels uh, so in our doctrine I do not see us applying this scripture so I would like to know why Nuko watinze gusa kuri umurongo ariko hari nawe yari yababujije no kwigisha wavuze gusa kuri ibi ariko hari nahandi yababuye ngo ntimukabwirize You only mentioned this verse here but there's also other scriptures where it says they should not preach Yego Eh Uzi Mabzita with the broad broad hair. Braided hair? Yeah, the Vazim is a good teaser. The washer, Guzunga Ukumusuk. Braiding. Braiding, yes, a braiding. Braiding. Anyway, Rekatujamri Timoteo. So let go to Timothy. Kabiri Chenda. First Timothy. Naturally, Kogirakuchi Venakavi. 
to 9 and to 12 ngo kandi nabagore nuko ndashaka ko bambara imyambara ikwiriye ndashaka pardon ko bambara imyambara ikwiriye bakagira isoni bakirinda kandi batirimbisha kuba umusatsi cyangwa izahabu cyangwa imarigarita cyangwa imyende y'igiciro cyinshi ahubwo birimbishije imirimo y'ingeso nziza nkuko bikwiriye abagore bavuga yuko bubaha imana umugore yigane ituze agandutse rwose 12 ngo kuko nanga ku mugore yigisha cyangwa ngo atege ku mugabo ahubwo agira ituze ndagira ngo akakose bakagombye kukavugaho ejo undatazambaza kandi gakurikire nubwo nabisubije kenshi bi ariko ndongera bisubiremo I have answered this question many times, but let us read in first book of Timothy 2.9, in like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel with appropriately and moderation, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly clothing, but which is proper for women professing godliness with, God wor with good works. Let a woman learn in silence with all submission. And I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man, but to be in silence. Okay. Deka tugaru ke kandi, turewe muri petero na none wambere. So let also read the first book of Peter. Uyu ni poro, wari wandi ke Timoteo, ni poro wandi se katurewe na petero na wuko abi emphasizing, ahona wabivuga. So we just read what Paul wrote to Timothy, and let us look what Peter said. Petero wambere gata, turewe gata anu. Chapter 3, verse 5 in first Peter. Igitaba chambe cha Petero gata, turewe gata anu. Na mwe bagore, nuko mugandu ukira wagawo banyo. Kugira ngo nubwo abagabo bamwe batumvira ijambo ry'Imana bareshywe n'ingeso nziza z'abagore babo nubwo baba ari nta jambo bavuze babonye ingeso zanyu zitunganye zifatanije no kubaha umurimbo wanyu we kuba uwinyuma a uwo kuba umusatsi cyangwa uwo kwambara izahabu cyangwa uwo gukanisha imyenda ahubwo ube uwimbere uhishwe mu mutima umurimbo utangirika umwuka ufite ubugwaneza namahoro ari wo giciro cyinshi mu maso y'Imana abagore ba bera bakera biringiraga Imana niko birimbishaga bakagandukira abagabo babo gatano 315 first peter 5 it says for in this manner O oh, wives, likewise, be submissive to your own husbands, that even if some uh, do not obey the world, they without word may be won by the conduct of their wives. Th when uh, they observe your chaste conduct um, accompanied by fear, do not let your abandonment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. For in this manner in former time, the holy women who trusted in God also adorned themselves, being submissive to their own husbands. Yeah. Aha, our badam wa tandukanye, our badam wa muri, poro timoteo, the women that Paul wrote to Timothy. Agitangritoro i Corinth. Kuko Timotheo yari mu Efeso. When he started the church in Corinth, because Timothy was in Ephesus. Yahu yeni iba zonabzo. He encountered. Mu Corinth abi vuzeho. He encountered same problem. No mu Efeso. He mentioned this in Corinth and also in Ephesus. Ari komu ri Philip in diwaro fiti kibazo. But in Philippi, they did not have similar problem. Colossae inta chwaru afite. Colossae, they they didn't either. Donke. So it is it was a cultural issue. So here in the book of Timothy. He was telling the church of the believers. When they come to church, most of the time they will come in late. When they ask women why they are late, 
They live in Ephesus. A great city nearby waters. They will take time, they will spend much of their time in uh, getting ready during the time of uh, conferences and church services. But men will come early. Or some will wait for their wives and come <laughs> with them. When the preacher asks, why are you late today? The day of gatherings or services are the days that women will go to their salons of beauty. It's like today's. <laughs> They will put on, uh, like today's uh, wife, they will put on makeup or jewels, uh, they go to salons, they look, make sure they look beautiful. No, no. So Paul was amazed. So among the problem, Timothy would tell Peter, uh, Paul, was one of the, this was one. They will come late to church. And the second issue, a woman who comes early, will make sure she takes the mic and uh, tell others the story of what happened before they got in. She will brief the congregant so this is what happened before you got in. And she will, she will discipline the so a, a woman if they come early they will make sure they brief everyone what happened before they got there so a disorder start coming in the church so it's not the matter of doctrine it's the order that was being implemented in the church so uh, the problem of doctrine is different from the pro the uh, the problem of the schedule. Difference. There's a difference between the schedule of the program, no, no. Order. the order of the church, and doctrine of the okay. church. So there is a difference between the order of the church and doctrine of the church. So people took the order and named it a doctrine. I hope the doctrine and they ignore the doctrine of the church. And this is what Paul said here. So let's say the outward is an order. And within is doctrine. Paul said this not because he didn't want a woman to look beautiful, but they wanted them to take care of the inner person rather than the outward. That's why it's so, the Bible says a bride of Christ is beautiful. They are clothed in a white, gar white garment. So the Bible doesn't for, uh, forbid a woman to look women to look beautiful. But on top of the outside beauty, let them be even more beautiful inside. When Paul was about to say this, he said why they should care about the inner person than the outside. It's because we will find the church, the majority in the church are women and men will go. And when he asked the men, why aren't you why is aren't you coming with your wives? And the, uh, some, some of the men will say, we need those women to change so we could join them. Otherwise, we, are, we are, will not join them. Why? Because they will say, 
So when we go there, it's as if you teach them to disown us and to sp talk more. But and when we try to speak, they say we are possessed by demons. So you need to teach them so they will change first. Ni waporo petro yaba bire ngo namwe bagore go please mugandu kira bagabo bari ngo kugira ngo nubwo bagabo bamwe batumvira ijambo ry'Imana bareshwe ni ngeso nziza z'abagore babo ngo nubwo baba ari nta jambo bavuze nubwo utabwiriza umugabo wawe ariko ingeso zawe ziramukuru that's why that's when Peter said the wives likewise be, be submissive to your own husbands that even if some do not obey the word without word they may be won by the conduct of your the wives urumva ko aha ravuga ngo mugire ingeso nziza zituma umugabo n'iki aravuga ati koko kuva umugore wange yatangira gusenga aranyubaha avuga neza nubwo navuze nabi aratuza mukanya kangarura Madame Sigabzu can sang as his petit dejene. Kill no nibitangas. Took Haricha Hindus, Sherry, Zagwerik as a cochum where Haria Han. Nibzo Popetra and Mobati. Nimerican is on guess. Abagavanovas as a good singer, Nugo Mutaba Bridis Agomokis, a wing a Susan and Ziza is Abakuru. That means if if the why the husbands do not obey the word of God, but because of the good conduct of their wives, the husband will decide to join them in the church because there's so much that have changed their wives. They listen, they're submissive to their own husbands, and that's how husbands start joining them in the church. On verse 2, when they observe your chaste conduct accompanied by fear, Kumurangu waga tatungo umuri imba wanyu, we kubu inyuma. Aha na kongera wijamburi vwa ngo kuko suzantandi rima ngo we kuba uinyuma gusa. And on, on verse 3 it says, do not let your adornment be merely outward only. Nguwa kubu humusatsi. Arranging the hair. Uwa kuambariza hapu. Wearing gold, putting on fine apparels, rather let it be hidden, let it be the hidden person of the heart. Mm. With the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. Which is very precious in the sight of God. Ngo bagore bera bakera biringira gimana. Ngo niko birimbishaga bakagandukira bagabo ba. For in this manner in former times the holy women who, who trusted in God also adorned themselves being submissive to their own husbands. Voilà. Okay. Rekadu komeze ndizera kwikimwa cyumvisha. I believe that you uh, have listened and you understand this question. Bibiliya ntibabuza kwisiga ariko ibasaba hejuru yuko kwisiga basiga imbere cyane. Uko batinda kundore gwa mwari niba yigiraho isaha iyo mu mutima imbere yigiremwe amasaha abiri. The Bible does not uh, stop you from being beautiful looking beautiful outward but it want to the more you take care of your outward looking so you should be double the inside Ariko bibiliya ntivuze gusaba abagore gonyene nabagabo nabagomba gutunganya imbere yabo hagatungana So the Bible doesn't just talk about women uh, taking care of the inner the spirit but also the men Gusa ndi yatinze kubagaho kwirimbisha hanze uko umugabo asoka atana soko je ubuzima bukaba bwiza nta kibazo bigirira but it did not talk much of, uh, about the beauty of men outward because most of the time you will see men who leave the house without even combing their own hair. So there is a difference between the beauty of a man and a woman. Okay. Yes, a shame because of him, and he was a common so on the right to look like such a chenda. Murongo wa makunyabiri na kari ndwi murakoze ni Vincent ndi Kigari. Mm. Shalom, uh, servant of God. Uh, my name is Vincent. I'm in Kigali. I would like uh, more clarity on the uh, Luke chapter 9 verse 27 where it says, I tru uh, truly I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ndagira ngo irijambo 
I think this scripture I read it in three different uh, uh, gospels and it will be easy for you to understand. So what should, this was Luke 9, 27. And I want you to Truly I tell you some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. So when we look Matthew 16:28 mm. 16:28 Ndababwira ukuri yuko muri aba bahagaze hano harimo bamwe batazapfa kugeza ubwo bazabona umwana w'umuntu aziye mu bwamibwe Surely I say to you there are some standing here who shall not taste death until they see the son of man coming in his kingdom Mark 9:1 Ngo arababwira ati ndababwira ukuri yuko abangaba bahagaze hano Harimo bamwe bazabona ubwami bw'Imana buzanye ububasha batarapfa. And he said to them, surely I said to you that there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the kingdom of God present uh, with power, present with power. Yeah. Iri jambo Yesu yarivuze gyari. When did Jesus say, say this? Ari kuri wa musozi wo guhindukirwa. On when he was on the mountain of transfiguration. Who was with him here? Petero, Peter, Johanna, John, na Jacob. and James. Avuga. When he said this, kin nonge ndibuka mu cyage cha Covid muri aske Paul bambaje kenshi kuri iki kibazo kandi bakimbaje. When uh, during the time of Covid this question was uh, was asked several times. Eh ndababwiramo ibice bibiri. There are two Harimu sides. There are two answers to this question. Number one, which kingdom is here? It is the coming of the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus was coming in flesh, uh, in, into our flesh to, uh, to all over the world. Oh, he came in the Spirit. When the Holy Spirit came, that means the kingdom of God was established here. Because it was all over the world. Until today. Christ is declared. His kingdom is proclaimed. That's his kingdom. He say, um, I surely tell you. Among those who are standing here. That means Peter, John and James. There will not. Uh, they are here w- those who are here will not taste the death before they see the kingdom of God Peter so Peter followed Jesus but he was afraid of death but he was not going to die because he is supposed to see the kingdom of God being manifested but he was afraid of the uh, the pain of the death of Jesus of on the day of Pentecost he preached and many came to Jesus uh, around the, over 10 years that's when James was killed Jacob. James died. But he tasted on the kingdom of God during the time of, of Pentecost. Amen. Amen. These were there when Jesus spoke. And the other disciples were there. They died after witnessing the kingdom of God through the, the power of the Holy Spirit. So you will be witnesses. Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, in Judea, and the, uh, all, all over the world. So, in the ancient time, they will uh, witness that the king has been arrested. So, there will be men assigned that duty to declare that the king has been established. Because there was no tele. Uh, telephones. So they will select men who witness it happening and they will go declaring all the provinces. So this is the same word that was used here. So you'll be witness 
you will be witness to see to say that i have come the lord the king you will start from jerusalem judea samaria and all to the end of the world and also on top of this the meaning of this scripture after the death of jesus the life was given to men and those who died were no longer dead and those who died today are not actually dying physically they are dead but spiritually they are alive in Christ that means when Jesus comes returns those who are dead will first rise that means in God those who are in Christ are not dead don't I, I tell you among those who are standing here will not taste the death until they see the son of, of God uh, until they see the king of the, the or, or the kingdom of God Mark 9 uh, I said to them, I surely I said to you that there there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the kingdom of God present to them. With power. That's the meaning of this scripture. Praise God. That means after resurrection and the coming of Jesus, there's no longer death. We all go transit to the kingdom of God. But the meaning of this scripture is when the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God came when the Holy Spirit was introduced in the world. Okay. Kabu musamba nyi azgui aga kororamada ariko aga komeza umurima wimana vigenda gute kandi vikaba kensh murakoze uh, baka mufatana na baka babandi um, baba anu basengana baka nabjarana Shalom Aposo um, my question is uh, about a worshipper who is involved in sexual immorality about baby and steals men and her and her actions are well known but she continues to sing while having baby and stealing men in the church she is a pagan no 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 pagan so, she, so in this case she's a pagan not only she's a worshiper who commits uh, these sins but also even if you are not a worshiper but a believer in the church who commits a sin you are a pagan so she's a pagan in the church so she has a mission and Satan uses her so she has a mission and Satan uses her Samaria kazi wahuye na Yesu arabohoka nawo zahure na Yesu So we need to pray for her to be delivered like a Sam- uh, the Samaritan woman who met Jesus at the well and Jesus forgave her sins Okay Imani shimwe ese umuntu amaze kubatizwa hanyuma umwe mu bashumba utumvikana no wamubatishe akamubwira ati ubwo wewe tuvuyemo nkuko wagiyemo aho kugira ngo amubwire ngo congratulation ibyo hari ico bakwangiza kuri uwo mubatizo be blessed <laughs> someone uh, her question is someone who just got baptized instead of being congratulated by one of the pastors he insults you that she as you went in so you came out simply because he doesn't like the other pastor who baptized you is this baptism valid Uwakubatije ni igikoresho gusa ariko igifite akamaro no mubatizo wakorewe wewe ubwawe wabatije kandi wabzemeye nta kibazo mubatizo ntinti wangiritse humura Your baptism is valid the one who we, who baptized just is, he's just a vessel that you, was used to baptize you but your baptism is valid Kuko wewe wabzemeye kandi urabatizwa uwakubatijwe wese ntacyo bivuze ariko icyangwa ni gikorwa 
whoever baptized you, it's he's just being used by God. But the most important thing is the act of accepting and believing and God getting baptized. Shalom, shalom, wakundwa muri aske por, bamo burundi. Turaba kuri kila na kandi, tunezezwa ni mano zunguka ziri mumuvye iwachu, Dr. Apotre. Kumuvuga mazi na yosebi la remerei. Ndamu kuri kila na kenshi nshobo ye. Mberi yuko mbaza ikikiwazo chanje, nagirambanze kubaza. Mbega, ikiwazo umunu abaza, akiwaza andirekte, iyo muri mukiganiro, chanke. Akibaza umwanya wose ashaki mwebwe uh, mukamwishura mukimwishura muje mukiganiro nimba uh, akibaza umwanya uwore wose ni ryari no, no kwitega inyishu Shalom shalom um, beloved and ask Paul I live in Burundi I follow you everywhere and I honor the gifts of the Holy Spirit that are in the apostle um, so her question is about Ask Paul program. She wants to know that if the question are asked directly while we are live uh, as of right now or if she need to send them later on and we answer. So if sh if the question are asked later, not directly streamed, where can she send them and when can she expect the answer? <laughs> We ubari ikiye chosu bishowe urabasa. Na nubu ngubu turi live harabari mubandika. Gusiyo bizabaye bizinshi ni saza agiye. Kongera kuzabivuga ubuta aha. Tuka hera nibza wanubari wa tubi. We umu nganya osu wa bishowe ura wandike. Tuza gusubiza. Gusicho tuzi tuza kugera ubu bishowe ura kutinda gato. Kuko na nubu nganya harabari mubandika. Haribi indi banditse. Nubu. Haribi indi dufite bizimisi shize. Hariko tukereza kui huza hamu bizo sengu tusubiza. So that's a good question, but you can send your question whenever you, that you have a time. Even r as of right now, there are people sending their question. We may not be able to get to all the questions being, being asked, but the, you can still send them, send them in your question via email or WhatsApp or even here on the live streaming. Uh, we have, if we're still combining questions asked previously and even uh, today. Okay. <laughs> Icya kabiri kivuga ku byanditswe bibiri kimwe ni Samuel wa mbere igice ca 19 umurongo wa 18 ugeza kuri 24 aravuga ngo turabona Sauli ahiga Daudi ashaka kumwica yo hereza intumwa kumufata zagera yo zigahanura kugeza nawe ubwe agiye ahageze nawe arahanura nti batubwira ibyo bahanuye ese ubuhanuzi bwabo busobanuye iki kindi kibazo ni Matayo 24 batubwira ko ikimenyetso ca nyuma co kuza kwa Yesu aruko ubutumwa bw'ubwami buzigishwa kwise haba hari itandukaniro hagati y'ubutumwa bw'agakiza no butumwa bw'ubwami we love you from Dubai the first question is a uh, first book of Samuel chapter 19 verse 8 to 20 uh, this person wants to know uh, when Saul was hunting to kill David and he actually sent some of the messengers to kill him. But instead, they will prophesy. When he also went, he started prophesying. So this person wants to know the type of and the meaning of the prophecies were being prophesied. Second question is in Matthew chapter 24, where it talks about the return of Jesus Christ. And it says, uh, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And the end will come. So this person wants to know the difference between the gospel of salvation and the gospel of the kingdom. Yeah, ubuhanuzi nti buvuga icyo busobanura gusa bajya gara abasirikare batumwe gufata Daudi bagera umwuka w'imanuka bafata bakinjira muri groupe y'abahanuzi barimo nabo bagatangira kuramya imana nk'abandi bakemeza nabo ko Daudi ari umwami. Donc icyo cyavugaga the the prophecy what it doesn't mean they were actually prophesying that means when they come, when they came to get and kill david and got david the holy spirit of god would take over and they would gen, join other prophet, prophets and they would testify that david is the actual king 
Even saw himself join them. And he found himself among the prophets. And he was, and he was prophesying, testifying that uh, David is the king, although he was already the king. That's the meaning of this prophecy. So Saul was the king. But he, in the agreement, he says David is the actual king. Matthew chapter 24 The gospel of the kingdom The and also salvation or the gospel of salvation They are the same but with a slight difference The gospel of salvation it is a gospel to an individual. I am saved. And she is saved. Joseph is saved. That means I have received the salvation. And repent so you will not perish. That means most of the time when we are saved, we attend church and becomes a church of believers and the gospel of kingdom there are gospels or that beyond the church that's when you find people working outside in different types of companies or industries. The systems change based on the gospel. When you get to a certain corporation, you will find the spirit that most for change. There is a revival. So the gospel of kingdom changes system. The corruption. The corruptions in all type of countries. Or injustice. The justice systems are made well correctly. So the gospel of the kingdom is when the gospel enters into systems of different corporations all the world and changes it. Or when there is a manifestation of the values. And Jesus is inside and the values are manifested. That is the gospel of the kingdom. But also miracles. Also, other miracles start to happen. You see a change in the economic system because everyone is involved and they are passionate about the work they do. They perform perfectly and things start changing. Okay. That's the gospel of the kingdom. Okay. Uh, this person asked if they will, the e-church youth members will be able to follow the uh, the hero's journey teachings or orientation. Yes, they are Ukomeze. online. Shalom, Father. Murakoze Chane, Kunigishon of Sovan Romuduha, Fisa Ikivas. Ukuri Utube, no Kuriviara do chance. Kuera Inigish was Tandukanye, Zaba Pastor Batandukanye, Zichaho, Uga Kurikira Wivazako Zigufasha, Ikivazo Change, Niki. Iyo umugabo numugore cyangwa se couples bose bitwa abapasteli ariko umwe wese akaba afise urusengero rwiwe ahagarariye urugero umugabo afise urusengero a umugore afise urusengero b mu rusengero a bakagira kirite mu gatondo mu rusengero b bakagira kirite apremiti kandi bikaboneka ko Iyo kapo ifashanya ibikogwa muri izo chache zizombi. Bagasengera, bagasenga, bagatangishifu ya chumina maturo. 
ibitangaza bikaba abantu bakabohoka none ivyo bintu biri biblical cyangwa se biri ni bibilia kubona umugabo n'umugore bafise churches bahagarariye standukanye hara hari abamambure baja muri church a mu gatondo apremidi bakaja muri church b kibaza none ko bose hose hakogwa bimwe ijambo ry'Imana amaturo gusenga nibindi kubera iki barinda kugira churches zibiri zitandukanye murakoze mufashe gutahura Shalom uh, thank you for helping us father uh, we are in the confusion of the messages uh, being passed via YouTube by different pastors we follow YouTube hoping to be blessed but there is a confusion. My question is this. If a husband and a wife are both pastors, husband is a senior pastor in his own church, which is church A, and the wife is a senior pastor in her own church, church B, but both support each other in the sense where you will find one spouse, uh, the one spouse church service is in the morning and the other is in the afternoon. They even share members sometimes. They both church collect tithes and offerings. My, questions, uh, my question is this. Are these things biblical? Why do they have and do they need two different churches? Okay. Urakoze. Thank you. Okay. First of all, I would like to tell you this. If you continue to follow all kind of YouTube messages, you are going to be lost. You can follow YouTube teachings, but having a foundation or a base where you can be located, you have a parent, spiritual parents, who uh, you can always compare the teachings if they are the same. So that means a believer must have a church where they belong to. Here you said that the husband has a church A, the wife's church B. And you want to know if it's biblical. Biblically having a church is biblical. Because the church has a pastor. Because the church has a pastor. That it's possible that the husband has a calling of a pastor, of being a pastor, and the wife same thing. There are those who say that a pastor must be a husband, or if a husband is a senior pastor, the wife is only the wife of the pastor. But it's also the same way a husband can be a pastor, same way a wife can be a pastor. I know you may start saying since when women became pastors. You may be not the one asking but someone is already think, thinking this question. In the second book of John chapter 1 John chapter 1 Second book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. Mm -hmm. The elder to the elect lady, mm -hmm. elect and, her, lady. and her children, mm -hmm. whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all those who have known the truth. Pastor, you are a bishop. This elect lady was a bishop. Don't elect lady. Umudamu wa wafashwe mubande bagore akagirwa elda akagira. Yarafite rera ramurabusa nabana be. So she is uh, he is greeting her with her children because she among other women she was selected and elected to be a bishop. Abitandukanye na Philemon na 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 nuwo dusanga mu gitabo cha Philemon. Uh this is different from what we find in the book of Philemon. 
Reba Philemon. Let's look in the book of Philemon. It is in one first chapter. Philemon. Paulo imboye ya Kristo na Timoteo mwene data. Turakwandikie Philemon ukundwa dusangi uyu murimo. Philemon yari pastor. Paul a prisoner of Christ Jesus and Timothy our brother to Philemon our beloved friend. Baraba pastor bi Colossae. These were pastors in the Colossae. Umugore we rero barafatanyaga mu murimo we ntiyari kuko tuvuze nka akuria we barafatanya ngo na afia mushiki wacu uyu ni muka Philemon. Oh his wife supported him in the ministry she was not elected but it the bible says and also beloved Aphelia Afia Afia ngo na arukip umusirikare mugenzi wacu ni torero ryo mu rugo rwawe arukip yari umuhungu wawe Archippus our fellow soldier and the church in your house Archippus was their son Ni kuvuga ngo Philemon That means a Philemon na Afia Afia bara bashumba bitoro y'Colossae The were pastors in the church of Colossae okay, Pastor yari umugore yari umugabo umugore akamufasha So the pastor was the husband and the wife was support, uh, supported him Ariko umuhungu wabo witwaga Arukipo But their son Archippus Nawe yagira gitorero ariko rye yari muri famiye munzu Had a church Egyid. but the church was the cell within the family Atandukaye na Kuria So it, he's a, a different from Kuria Kuria we yari pastor Korea was a, she was a pastor Naban. with her children Mbo niba rero be ari kuria a akaba Philemon takibazo nje numva kire So if A is a kuria and B uh, Philemon there's no uh, an issue there Icyo gusa ntamenye ese itoro rimwe tuvuge gitwa Jesus alive irindi kitwa Jesus resurrection na aratandukanya amatorero yombi kumazina ariko ari itoro rimwe Tuvuga ni Jesus alive mu gasengesha gitondo n'umugoroba tujuru nduvuka ari ministeri mwe ariko bombi nabashumba ariko niba muri muri ya muri yanzu imwe ya ya pastor a wo mugabo ije gitwa byenda resurrection power ije umugore rikitwa eh holy mountain amatorera biri kandi afite ubuzima gatozi bubiri ariko bagasharinga same building ibyo nabyo ni byabo izo ni yaranje mazabo eh icyuma zo ngo se ni biblico ni biblico kuko ni ministere igishumbu arakora nuri yarakora gusa suko umwe yitwa umugore n'undi mugabo ibyo bisho ni nguko reka mvuge ibyo ni nguko umugabo ashobora kuba ministre n'umugore akaba ministre reka mbaye nkurugero mu gihugu cya Uganda president Museveni ni president umugore we ni ministre wa education <laughs> madame we ni ministre wa education ntabwo gusa ari first lady ni na ministre urumva ko nindi ministere anyway iki mivuze bishobora kubaho si tibikunze kubaho cyane ariko hari igihe bibaho umudama akaba afite ministere n'umugore akaba afite ministere ibi byabaho nabyo ariko ni rare it's rare bishoboke ko habari impamvu babi bakoze waranjemo ariko icaka baye kiza cyane nuguza imbaraga zawo bombi bagakora mega church ariko impamvu bakoze ibiranone sinabyingira mu kunta bizi nabyo birashoka ko byaba this doesn't happen often but i think it's okay and it's also biblical because they are in the ministry the husband being a, pa a senior pastor in his own church the wife being a senior pastor in her own church whether they have same names or it, but or by being a person different locations or maybe they have a different names in the uh, same building it's a biblical so i think that's what i will answer to you amen amen ndagira ngo mbashimire kukanye mwaduteza amatwi i would like to thank you for the time you have uh, taken to listen to us imana ibaho umugisha may god bless you turagushima data ko wabanye natwe we thank you father for you have been with Mariaske us we ask paul through this program as komeza uvugane nabantu continue and speak to your kandi bagirie neza and bless them lord mwizina rya yesu in jesus name amen amen mugire ijoro ryiza umugoro wa mwiza igitondo kiza amanwa meza bitewe naho muherereye have a good night have a good morning depending